G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is a video tutorial in which we're going to be adding textures to a image that we've made most of so far uh, to show you kind of how much of a difference we can make in a very short period of time. If you want to look at the other video tutorials in part of in uh, that are part of this painting in Photoshop tutorial series, you can click the annotation on the left or in the description, the link there will take you to the index which has links to all the other parts of the, seri of the set. And uh, the annotation on the right takes you to the finished product uh, speed painting video where you can watch the whole thing being painted from start to finish in a matter of a couple of minutes. So jumping straight into it, this is what we've got so far. We've got a character with his hair, eyes and basic shading of his skin and clothing done. Now what I'm going to be doing is adding two textures. Um, now one thing to keep in mind that is very very important to remember when working with textures and adding them in, uh, in, to your images is when using a texture overlay uh, less is more. You really don't want to overdo it because it will end up making it look a little bit cheap. Okay, so here's my uh, folder of some textures that I commonly use and I'm going to be using a cloth one and a leather one. So I go into the cloth one first. Uh, where is that? Right here. So this fabric one. So if I click and drag it onto my stage, I can resize it, move it around. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so I have it, uh, so I have it vertical. I'm going to click and drag it to the size of this left side of the shirt and hit enter. Then I'm going to do the same thing again. So select my fabric, drag it onto the stage, 90 degrees, oops, and bring it over to this side and cover the rest of the shirt. Okay. Hit enter. And then I have those two images. I'm going to select these layers and uh, rasterize and merge them. So I have these on one layer. I'm going to hide them for now and go into my shirt folder, which I have the shading uh, of the shirt in here. And I'm going to click and drag my fabric to the very top there and add it to the clipping mask of the shirt. So you can see that this is where clipping masks really come in handy because uh, just by adding it to the clipping, clipping mask, you have the entire texture automatically added. And then we select our uh, overlay uh, setting selector here. I forget what you call it, but it doesn't really matter and we hit it and we scroll through the different effects that we can get in making that texture merge with the shading. So there's a couple here that work quite well. Uh, if you have some which don't work well, for instance, if the texture is like a bright orange or green uh, and it's not merging with the colors you have, you can lower the saturation of that texture before you apply it or change the saturation and it will, uh, and it will apply differently. So you can kind of muck around there. So multiply seems to work pretty well. I'm going to lower the opacity to, let's say, 60%. Now that's quite a strong texture, but the material is meant to look fairly thick and coarse anyway, so it's not too bad. So I can leave that as it is. So I've done our shirt, completely finished. In the second half, we do the similar sort of thing, but with the skin. When doing texture additions to skin, be very wary very wary. I'm going to use leather. Okay, so this is my leather texture. Okay, I'm going to apply it and make sure it fits uh, and size it. Remember, hold shift when you size to keep the scale. Hit enter. And I'm going to apply it to the clipping mask. Okay, now, like I said, less is more. I'm going to rasterize the layer and go through these settings. Find one that works well. I want it to look like skin. So linear burn looks quite good. Uh, multiply often does. Oh, sorry, not uh, multiply or overlay usually look decent. But I think I like linear burn the best. So I'm going to go up to linear burn. I'm going to bring the opacity way down. And I'll bring it, let's say, to 8%. Okay, so it's barely there. And if I zoom in nice and close, you can see this texture of the leather on the skin, which makes him look older, a bit more weather-worn. And now when I fit full screen, in a very, very short period of time, uh, the image has a whole bunch more detail without being overbearing, um, and it adds just kind of that tangibility to the image. And I really don't need to go into much more. That's uh, everything that I wanted to show you. But again, less is more. 
to keep that in mind and skin is something I don't often do textures on but uh, several things that I often do are material for things like clothing, metal is a good one if you can find good textures that have scratches and tears, uh, things like that and skin to a minimal degree uh, when it's really light um, and used sparingly. So in this situation I, I felt it was fitting because he's older and it added to the character. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy my videos. You can download the reference files from this tutorial by clicking the link in the description. And remember to share any art, animation or game you make on Newgrounds.com. Until next time, see you later.